We're rolling out the future funk today for an unboxing from Cosmonute.com. Say that this is my Sloppopopolis crap graffiti, not Cosmonutes. But Kev did send me a kind of unexpected package out of nowhere. Come take a trip with me. Let's find out what's inside. Since this unboxing is probably for the Space Pirate Captain XO, we're going to be unboxing with a Space Pirate knife. The Giant Mouse Knives Ace Clyde in natural linen micarta. With the orange anodized backspacer. Got a plague titanium sacred terror skull it's just a very nice slicey little blade this thing is very full there's a lot of stuff in here i'm interested to see what kev sent me some candy Some slaps. Kev has a lot of different sticker designs in here. Now we got some sugar on this future funk. It's even more spacey. Whoa, dude. This is a very interesting one here. This is an XL. All right, I'm gonna let you finish, Zero, but I'm going to interject just for a moment. I've recorded this later, and I talked to Kev. These things are actually called devoid omens, because they're devoid of any kind of resin fill here in the middle. These are OG single-piece resin poured omens, made with Kevin's own mad scientist brew of glow-in-the-dark goodness. These things have got what he calls the moon rock pattern on them. That is this finish on the outside. As I said, these are the OG single piece devoids in XL. He actually said that these are unfinished on the edges. They're not blems, they're not blemished. I am going to say it wrong in the upcoming part of the video. I got a little Cosmonute Ranger eye up here on my Data Crew hat. Of course I do. I just want to quickly get on here and say that this is going to be a little bit rambly. I'm going to do the unboxing experience. We're going to check out how I feel about it compared to some of my other omens. I'm going to take you on a whole omen tour. So links down in the description, time coded for different parts of the video if you want to skip around some of the rambly bits. But this is just going to be a rambly video in general. So enjoy. Bring out some other omens. Let's see. Yep, definitely an XL. Man, look at the patterning on this. This is super interesting looking. Let's macro. Hollow through here. Okay. There's another one in here. This one looks like it's sort of sparkly. It's got a lighter sort of blue bottom to it compared to the top. Beautiful. These are super interesting. But wait, there's more. This is one of the little stand beads he's been making. This I assume is resin, and this is Fordite. Fordite is a really interesting material. If you don't know, it's actually just paint. Paint that they've sort of hardened. Some sort of magical alchemic process I am unaware of. Neat. These stands, you kind of like set your stuff up on them like that. But wait, there's more. Whoa, there's like a pinkish one in here. This is like a bubble gum on one side and like a neon pink on the other. I do not feel like my camera in the preview window is doing this pink justice. We'll see when I edit this video. But 
Wow. That is interesting. I think you can definitely see the pattern more on this one. I think these are all the same. I think these are cast. But they are neat. Oh, I see, Kev. I told you I wouldn't be able to find a blem. Look at that. There's one right there. I can see. Interesting. I almost didn't even notice it. Zero impact to the functionality of the device. I can feel it a little bit, I guess. But wait, there's more in here still. Man, to round out the package. Wow. Can you see the deep blue undertones in this? And then some like highlights that are sort of golden. And that beautiful flecking. Wow, dude. These are pretty amazing. So yeah, a wonderful little package from my good friend Kev at Cosmonaut. Some beautiful omens. Let's take a look at this compared to a metal XL. This one is the blood omen in solid copper. I wonder what these are called. Man, they're rad, whatever they are. Definitely similar size profile. Obviously weight is completely different. But that might be a good thing. These are super hefty and XLs aren't necessarily my thing. But if I compare the weight action to like a brass one. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. It's time for showman tell. I've got my whole collection of omens out here. So let's organize these by category first. We've got our four new Devoid Omens. These are all resin. And then we've got another XL resin. That's not a Devoid. And then I've got this XL, the Copper Blood Omen. We've got Monster Bone in Titanium. Tiger Nova in Titanium. The Brass Cosmosaic. Brass Quartz Geoman, and finally the Brass Black Galaxy Teardrop. So yeah, we've got three Brass Omens, two Titanium Omens, one Copper, and five of these Resin ones. So let's take a look here at, I think I'm going to call this the Slime Skeleton. This is the Slime Skeleton Devoid Omen. And then this is a full-size XL Resin Omen. It's a little thinner than the Devoid, but you can tell the Moonrock pattern is very different on this. Sort of a similar color palette, though. We've got the Burning Pink and bubblegum devoid omen. The frozen devoid omen. That little ice blue touch on the back side that glows ever so slightly. The Mariana Trench. Black devoid omen. Copper Blood Omen. One of the few omens I have that does not glow at all. A little Coke Tools bead on the back of that as well. Cosmosaic. It's got that amazing brass shipwrecked finish. The back side. Intense glowing green star field. 
the quartz geo man the completely different space shipwreck patina a lot of blues hidden in this one On the back side we've got a blue star field beautiful quartz from the adirondacks you can hardly tell but these actually go right up to the front you can actually touch the quartz inside the geoman Monster Bone, the goat. Kevin calls these the space sponge. Very deep in there. We've got an orange peel with a sort of mood ring chaotic anodization. The exterior of the titanium. And on the back, we've got a pumpkin orange star field showing that this is a special omen. Right here we've got the Black Galaxy teardrop brass prototype. It's got an experimental acid, like an acid splash sort of finish. Very smooth though. Once again we've got that pumpkin orange on the back side of it showing that this is a special proto. And finally, an omen you don't see very much. This is my son's omen, Tiger Nova. Beautiful orange space field on here. Just plain brushed titanium exterior. A little glow in the dark green star field on the back side. So yep, that is my little tour of the Omen collection, state of the Omen collection today. If you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my collection changes because I trade, I get new ones, I have to get rid of old ones that I have that I don't carry. I feel like these things are so amazing and so powerful, I want everyone to get a chance to get their hands on one and really feel what they're like. And if this isn't the greatest omen power fist that I've ever done, I'm going to be shocked. This one is ridiculous. Brass, resin, titanium, copper, all of the magical space treasure. Talking to Kev about what his plans for his business have been over the years has been pretty straightforward. He wants to make cool art. He wants to make art that people like. He wants to make art that people can afford. But at the same time, he wants to have a standard of quality that he can really stand by and say like, I made this piece of art and it is an expression of me and my creativity and I didn't compromise for anybody. And let me just say, as a guy who has really got a bunch of his art here, I think you're doing that, Kev. I think you are living that dream. So, Cosmonute.com, always new omens appearing, all kinds of different styles, all kinds of different stuff showing up there. Check it out if you want to get a really, really awesome worry stone. These things are just out of this world. You can find a grail like this, or you can get an affordable one like this and have the same experience between them. Maybe not the exact same experience. Obviously, a Zerk Omen is going to feel different than a Brass Omen is. The weight is going to be different. But using these things as anxiety tools, I think it's going to work about the same, honestly. You can really squeeze these things as hard as you possibly can. And Kev has worked diligently to make sure that they can withstand a really good amount. I have dropped a number of omens of different metals and they come out on top every single time. So yeah, if you are looking to get one of the galaxy's most beautiful worry stones known to any kind, Cosmonute.com is where you need to go to check out some of this sweet action. And did I mention that a, a ton of this stuff glows in the dark? time so I'm not going to get amazing glow from these right now but using my little UV flashlight I will show you some glow biz while I can 
This one here just lights right up. Wow. Insanely bright. Right out of the gate with that one. Whew. Look at the way that skeletoning or whatever that pattern does. That is super cool. It's the same story with this pinkish one. It has like an orange fiery look to it as it lights up on the one side. Like bright yellows but pink on the back. As far as my OGs go, the quartz itself doesn't glow, but the back matter does. Backside of the Black Galaxy kind of glows through a little bit. It's hard to tell in this light. This is one of my most vibrant omens, both on the show side and the quote unquote glow side. This one really does the thing when it comes to the glow. And finally, MB, Monster Bone, the goat. I want you to see what an amazing glow-in-the-dark omen looks like. Quadruple-toned blues, greens, cyans, slimy, slimy and grimy. Boy, do I love this omen. All-time favorite, still. Not a pouch dump video, but I just want to quickly do it anyways. This is the ZF Cup in green, the Plague and JRW Gear green zipper pulls. On the inside of the pouch, we've got some of my favorite green stuff, the green Nightcore Tiki with the green glow-in-the-dark OEG EDC bead, my green Bee Mascus Spider Comic B with the green Micarta Combat bead, and the green Slime Skeleton Omen from Cosmonute. Cosmonute.com, Cosmonute2 on Instagram, and his Facebook group are all linked down in the description below. Check them out. Awesome stuff from a cool, handmade artisan craftsman. I also just kind of want to say, I don't know Kevin in real life. We've become friends on the internet, circling around this EDC world and his art. I love supporting small artists and their work, and helping it get to a broader audience as well, too, is another one of my new favorite things to do. So here we are. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. Click my face down here if you'd like to subscribe. Click these boxes if you'd like to see some of my pouch dump videos. And if no one has told you today, you're a rad person who deserves love and praise, just like everybody else in this world. Get out there and do something nice for a random stranger today. I promise it'll feel great. I'll see you in the next one. Later on.